eighth graders being affirmed in their baptism at the second service. Confirmation is an important milestone in our congregation and in our Lutheran tradition. Some churches take it so seriously that their youth must answer questions about Lutheran theology in front of the congregation. We don't require that, but we do have our youth write and read statements of faith to our congregation at the second service. It's not just an opportunity for them to begin practicing, articulating their faith. It's also an opportunity for them to share part of their stories and where they have encountered God at work in their lives. Youth have surprisingly deep wisdom, and their testimonies surely serve as an opportunity for our congregation to celebrate their stories of faith and also reflect on our own. Now the big theme for this group of confirmands is friendship. People in community have fostered this group in their growth and pointed them towards knowing God. Some of our youth have been nurtured in this community at Redeemer since before they could even walk. How wonderfully complimentary for my sermon writing today. And also for our Gospel from John in which Jesus says that to follow him is to not be a servant, but rather to be a friend. You may know that building friendships takes time. Compromands have learned to trust one another over the last couple of years and have come to share life's highs and lows with one another. And in this, they've been met with prayer and support. They've gotten to practice this every week through small group time. Now during this time, they include a high, a low, and something that they're looking forward to that's coming up. Two years ago, highs and lows sounded something like, I'm happy I ate pizza this week. <laughs> School is really hard and I'm looking forward to it being the weekend. <laughs> Big generalizations. <laughs> After two years, now they sound more like this. I got cast in the school play. Thanks for praying for me and texting me last week. And I didn't do so great on my science test, and I'm worried about asking for a retake. I'll have to update you all next week about how it goes. And I'm looking forward to Sunday because we're all going to make cookies together at Dominique's house after church. The depth of our youth's witness and their faith statements come from a strong foundation of community and friendship found at this church and strengthened during their time in small groups together. In one statement of faith, the Confirmand reflects that his faith was shaped by his grandma and his relationship with her. He writes, Throughout her house, she would have Bible verses framed, crosses hanging on the wall, and little figurines of angels or other Bible characters on the windowsill. One verse that hung on her wall by the bedroom was Joshua 24, 15. It says, Choose you this day who we will serve. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. A couple of years later, my grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer. Even though she was very distressed, she trusted Jesus would help her to deal with her illness. I remember the last time I was able to visit her at Christmas. I could see in her eyes that she wanted to tell me everything she knew about her faith and how to follow Christ. And I knew then and there I could never give up my faith. Although she died just one week later on New Year's Eve, this experience had a lasting impact on me and strengthened my faith because I see it now as trying to fulfill her last wish to have faith in Jesus, just like she did. And I've made a promise to myself to never give up faith, no matter how impossible the situation. 
another copper man shares. My favorite verse in the Bible is John 13, 7. It says, Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. I love this verse because when I was younger, my, little, my middle brother passed away due to an accident. After this, I would always wonder, why me? Why did I have to go through that? And I would wonder all the time until my close friend told me that sometimes sweet people can go through something very tragic for reasons we will never know. My friend told me that God was with me in the tragic time, helping me. This friend told and showed me so much about the world and God, and I couldn't be more thankful. I have learned and created a closer bond with God and my brother too because of her friendship. Now that I'm older and have learned more in life, I know that no matter what, God is with you and will help you through tough times. Finally, one student shares, through the years of nursery, Sunday school, and confirmation, I have been able to build relationships with people at church, and that's what I'll remember as I continue to grow. Psalm 133.1 says, how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. This connects to me because this is what I value in the church and the world, being together. The, older, the other youth and I have been able to grow our friendship and understanding of each other as a result of our time together at church and the values we share. Being together in community is the foundation of my personal faith and is something I have grown during confirmation and will continue building on for years to come. Friends, Jesus commands us to love one another as he has loved us, to be willing to lay down one's life for our friends just as Jesus laid down his life for us. It's truly aspirational, but we can start small and show up for our friends in good times, the highs of life, to build a stronger connection, which will then carry us through life's hardest challenges, all of the lows, like sharing our struggles of addiction, disease, illness, divorce, separation, death, loss, and all that we find ourselves in between. My hope and prayer is for our youth to know friendship with one another through Christ, just as many of you have found that in this community. May we all lean into the ways that relationship with one another draws us closer to God throughout all of life's experiences. What a wonderful affirmation of our baptism to celebrate knowing that the Holy Spirit will never leave us, and we get to embody this presence through friendship with one another in community. Thanks be to God. Um.